Right, good morning and welcome to another Bossway video. It's been a busy morning. Um, Sean's been to collect his Range Rover and um, we've been cutting some ply lining kits out and they're ready to leave us now with the courier. And we've just had James's, uh, is it, the, it's a Citroen Relay, but it's the same as a Peugeot Boxer and Fiat Ducato. Um, this is the L3 and what we're doing is using this as a template for um, 3D scanning so we can then design our furniture around it for our new range of camper vans. So this is James, he's a friend of ours. He's got a load of plastic panels that we need to fit in here. He's gonna use one of the roof uh, panels that we have on file. Um, also on top of this van is a pop top. So we need to cut the roof around that square in the roof of the van so it can slide up. That's not gonna affect our furniture because um, that's gonna be above like the front seat. So we don't need that area. We'll obviously, we'll 3D scan it, but we don't need, that's not gonna be in the way of what we need to use. Um, but all down the walls and bits and pieces, we're gonna need all of that because that's where things like our rear lounges are going to be. So there's gonna be three variants. We're gonna have two straight bench seats. We're gonna have a U-shaped lounge. And we're gonna have a raised bed. So at the back of the van, you've got three choices there. Um, in the middle, there's obviously going to be a shower room and toilet. And then in front of that, pretty much where this seat is, is going to be a seat there as well. And then on this side, obviously things like kitchen and stuff, normal sort of layout, but hopefully with our special Bossway twist on a lot of them. So what we need to do now, get the roof fitted, get the side panels fitted, get all of the marker dots on ready for 3D scanning and then try and get on with a really good scan of this van so now I can get on with designing our new Bossway camper vans. So we just uh, mocked up the panels in the van. Just got a few screws in them for now, not fully fitted because they're all going to come back down because this van needs all the electrics going into it. So it's literally just so we can 3D scan it. So we're just cutting the, just designed and cutting out the base panels on the CNC over there and uh, we can get them screwed in and then we can start looking at uh, putting our marker dots on for the 3D scanning. So we've done this roof, so this roof I designed a good few years ago now for one of the L3 H2s that we converted into a camper and we've been using it and selling it on our website ever since. This one, we had to make this modification. Obviously, you've seen to cut around the hatch. So we simply just cut this square out of it, but it is a perfect, nice, tight fit against there. So James can use this roof, even though we're using it for a template in, he can use this roof now for his camper because he's been kindly, uh, kindly lent it to us. So we can get this 3D scan. So get these bottom panels in, covered up all these bits of insulation and stuff down here and then we'll be able to make a start getting it all 3D scanned. And then I can start designing the furniture. And with that, we had a Range Rover dropped off for a hybrid repair that just happens to be exactly the same spec as the one that I used to own. the first part of the process is to plug in our diagnostics machine, check all the fault codes that are in the car, um, have a look at the ones that we can repair, also check and see the voltage of inside the hybrid battery, 
the 12 volt battery and all of those kind of things and then we do a printout and a report for the customer so we can do a before and after once we've done the repair. Then it's time to open up the boot and remove the two 12 volt batteries that are in there. There's one large one which is to start the car and there's also an auxiliary one as well. So both of those get removed and replaced as part of our repair. That is battery out, repaired and back in on this Range Rover. All the coolant and everything's all topped up. We've tested it and it's all charging the 12 volt battery in the back and the hybrid battery as it should. So we're gonna give the customer a call now and this one's been turned around in the same day. So the next day, James turned up to have a play with his plastic panels on his Citroen Relay. They needed a few edits to do because he'd fitted the floor before fitting these panels so we need to take a little bit off the bottom of these panels and it's the first time he's ever used a multi-tool so here he is using my multi-tool just to trim down these panels and a good job of it he did too. So once all the plastic panels have been fitted it was time to stick on thousands of these marker dots for 3D scanning. So our 3D scanner not only uses the features of the interior of the van, it also uses these marker dots to create triangles to know where it is on flat surfaces. Because the marker dots are randomly placed, the triangles are never the same so it allows the sophisticated software to know where the 3D scanner is on any project. So with our scanner, using colour, features and these marker dots, it should give us a really good scan. We've put marker dots all over the van now because we're going to 3D scan the interior of it. So the way we work here is 3D scan the whole interior so we've got a 3D model and then we can design our furniture so it perfectly goes up and in round these scribes and then we get them cut out on the CNC machine so everything's within tolerance and uh, all very nice and neat. So we'll do that 3D scanning now.
So while this is processing, it's probably a good time to look to end this video. So it's been a busy week with Range Rovers in and out, Decato being scanned and Decato news coming up. Um, and a uh, few tailgate kits sold, ply lining kits sold, um, and a few other bits and pieces. We've got um, laminated board and stuff that we've sold as well. So it's been a busy old week. We're gonna take you for a tour on the Mercedes printer that we've finished. Um, we're gonna take you for a tour on that for next week's weekly as well. So stay tuned and we'll see you again next week.